All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol RKT, Rocket Companies Inc. Before we jump into this chart, welcome to all my first time viewers and investors, and to all my subscribers, welcome back. So, I have stated in all my videos for the last couple of days and weeks that if this broke through 1830, this could be on its way down to newer lows. I highly doubted that would be reached because that's the lowest point that we saw, and there are a lot of investors that are in this company holding through and holding this up specifically when we saw that it hit 1940 1950 range and from that point forward it actually started to rise up again and then recently we were close to 1995 1996 area and it started to rise up back from there so this bearish run lasted for a while since earnings after reaching the highs of 34 dollars and some change and we're seeing rocket companies have a slight recovery now the question is could this recovery continue can we stay above bullish territory and i really want to state out to all my viewers and investors and one of my subscribers saying oh we broke through the 50-day moving average we're back in bullish territory i really love to see that excitement and your guys's reaction to the fact that we're actually on the other side i love to see the bulls happy especially every investor when you're actually trying to make money i know there's ways to make money as stocks rise up and there's ways to make money as stocks go down but most investors are actually trying to see companies go up because if you put money into a company you obviously want your investment to grow as well as the reason why you put it in initially is because you believe this company is going to grow and there's a great outlook i mean that whole news with realtor.com partnering up and so forth has actually created this catalyst and this stock has moved up and there is important numbers here i mean up here at 2315 that needed to be broken through it did get broken through but it was not able to hold above it we're right now at 2282 and the bulls need to actually break through that to hit newer highs and i mean not just break through it like they recently did but reach newer highs by breaking through it and going to continue to reach newer resistance levels now great job for the bulls here they actually loaded up on stocks any investor that's in this right now let's go ahead and see where this is probably going according to what the chart is showing us so we're going to look here at one of our resistance levels and support levels so i'm going to look at one of the peaks and one of the lowest dips in this sideways direction after this bullish run obviously we're above the 50-day moving average and right now in bullish territory again so the bulls are going to want to stay above 2219 that is the 50-day moving average as long as we stay above it we're in bullish territory the moment we cross it we are now in bearish territory and this could be on its way down to newer lows if that gets crossed but as of right now we're above it and the bulls are going to want to maintain it so very important the highest peak here is 2338 that's a great number for the bulls to break through but before getting there 2320 is the first resistance level that the bulls are going to want to break through and actually start to work their way up from there reaching newer highs so they need to turn 2320 into a support level and start to work their way up to new resistance levels further away from the 50-day moving average in an upward direction on the other hand we have what the bears want the bears are going to want to get closer to the 50-day moving average in a downward direction and the first point they're going to try to break through is the resistance that was actually once a resistance and turned into a support now since we're above it and that is 2246 this was actually a resistance level as this was breaking up through newer levels and newer highs and it has created itself into a support in this leveling off as actually being the lowest point reached and that's 2246 if the bears break through that this could be on its way down to newer lows and i want to emphasize pay very close attention to 2246 how it's reacting what's going on and how quickly is this moving to newer lows and newer support levels or closer to the 50-day moving average as of right now because the quicker it gets to the 50-day moving average and if it crosses it this could be on its way down into bearish territory and hitting newer support levels so i want to emphasize how important it is to pay close attention to the behavior of the stock in between 2246 and 2219 the 50-day moving average and see if it's moving sideways 
and the Bulls are trying to reappear to bring this one back up? Or is it moving fairly quickly and getting closer to the point where it might cross it and start to hit newer lows? Again, the Bulls need a breakthrough 2320 to continue this momentum and work their way up to newer highs. So I want to emphasize that. And I want to emphasize that 2246, the support level, pay very close attention to the behavior of the stock and what is going on. As always, if you found this video helpful and informative, please do so and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell by turning on all notifications to not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community. Don't forget to hit the like button and let me know you watched this video. And thank you guys so much for watching. And let's make some money. At the end of this video, there's going to be a pop-up video. And I go into detail about the S&P 500 index and how it's been rising up several points on scheduled dates. What happens on those scheduled dates, which are the dates that are circled here on the chart and we're going to see for ourselves. Well, the S&P 500 index rises up several points and by doing so, they're bringing up several ticker symbols, not all of them, but most of them up with them. And these ticker symbols are rising up 30 cents to $3 per share. And I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but per share that does add up. And one thing I am really big on is profits. If you put a dollar into the market and you get out with $2, you've made profits. You've done what the whole purpose of being in the market is for to maximize profits and minimize losses. And with the Federal Reserve pumping the markets on these scheduled dates, bringing the S&P 500 index up also brings up individual ticker symbols with them. And again, 30 cents to $3 may not sound like a lot of profit per share but that does add up. And like I say, profits are profits. So we're gonna look here at some of the dates so that you guys can see what I talk about in the video. And it's a weekly series. I wouldn't want you guys to miss out on it. Definitely click on the video as it pops up at the end of the video and check it out. But here we are with one of the first pumps in the scheduled dates pump. So the first one, since the last time that they had released this, they released this on September 14th and the next one's coming up on October 14th, which is like a week from now. And on the 15th, they scheduled it. And as you can see, this is the 14th and the 15th is this big green bar and it rose up. So on the 14th, we were at around 33.84 and it rose up to 34.20. I mean, that's 40 points risen on the S&P 500 index. And that's creating that catalyst for individual ticker symbols to rise up 30 cents to $3. We're gonna look at another one here. And the next one was on September 22nd. And here we are on the 21st after falling from that last pump and the market had been falling. And you could see that there is volatility on every single day of the market before the dates of the pumps. But on the dates of the pumps are the days that the most green happens. For the most part, not every time, but for the most part. But on the 21st, which was a Monday, it was rising up and it rose up to this point here. And the next one was the 22nd. So this is the last 21st candlestick and this is the first 22nd candlestick. And we were at 32.70. This one rose up all the way up here to this point right here. This was the last 22nd candlestick to 33.19. I mean, if we go back, we were at 32.70, 33.19. That's almost 50 point jump here for the S&P 500 index. And again, individual ticker symbols rose up with it and it created that catalyst a little bit before the anticipation. And on that date, it rose up. Now on this next pump, which was a little bit different, there was a catalyst form beforehand and it rose up to these highs on the 28th of about 33.59. It actually dipped on the date of the next pump, which we see it here, which was on the 29th of September. And the next one was on the 6th, which just happened yesterday. And it actually slightly dipped. Now, not every time is these pumps going to rise up the market like we've seen here by a lot of points, but it still rises it back up or levels it off from hitting newer lows and leveling off the market itself because if we look at the previous notes that i did beforehand it was actually rising up with it the volatility was there but you were able to buy like for example how we bought here on the 15th and it rose up well it's been falling and then very volatile here up and down beforehand you can buy 
at the beginning of the schedule pump dates and hold a couple weeks and ride out several pumps and you are going on your way up but right now even as the market's going down it's a great opportunity to take advantage of the fact that the federal reserve is pumping the markets and there's an opportunity to make profits so here we are on the 29th and it fell to lows of 33.28 and it rose up to these highs here of 33.49 i know it doesn't sound like a lot but that's still a 20 point jump after dipping and recovering and then it continued to work its way up to newer highs now here on the sixth which on the fifth it started to rise it leveled off this is the last candlestick of the fifth coming up right now and we're about to see it here yes this is the last candlestick of the fifth and it rose up and all the way to the last candlestick of the sixth it rose up another 20 points i mean we're down here and it ended up around here so right now something i'm noticing is that these pumps are creating less of an effect on the market but it's creating that upward direction from falling to newer lows but it's still having the market rise up and even though the s p 500 index is rising several points there are individual ticker symbols rising up like i said 30 cents to three dollars check out the video i go into more detail i don't want you guys to miss out on this great information click on it and thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money